everyone and thank you for joining me today for sketchbook sunday episode 41 i'm working with oil as usual my sketchbook is primed with gesso and i'm adding some gal kid to my paint as i work to decrease the drying time after i'm done painting in this video i'm working on some landscape studies inspired by my trip to iceland last month i had an amazing time i got so much inspiration and i'm working on a few iceland landscapes and time lapses at this very moment on canvases not just my sketchbook so you'll be seeing those pretty soon um, it's a really beautiful amazing country and i do have a lot of footage from my trip I was thinking of making a video about it. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that, but if you are, let me know and I'll work on that video. Um, I was just so overwhelmed looking at all my footage and trying to figure out how <laughs> to put it together. But if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, I'll definitely work on that. I also have a bunch of royalty-free references I took in Iceland that you can paint for yourself. And those are a reward for my Patreon supporters. So, today I wanted to talk about fear when it comes to art in particular. Um, I think fear and artistic block go hand in hand and a lot of times we are blocked as artists because we're afraid to make art or afraid to make a bad work of art. Even though we have this amazing art community here on YouTube and that's very encouraging and supportive in so many ways, in the real world, society as a whole um, doesn't really view art as a lucrative career or have a whole ton of respect for it um, unless it's like mind-blowing, right? Or at least that's been my experience so far. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I seem to be under the impression that most people in general don't really have like art <laughs> on their mind all the time. Um, and maybe at some point in our lives, our parents weren't all that supportive or someone insulted your work and it really hurt your feelings and discouraged you. Um, there are just so many reasons for us creating these high expectations for ourselves. And when it comes to creating art, when you're staring at this blank canvas or sketchbook page or wood panel, whatever you're creating, this blank space can often seem very intimidating. There's so much possibility there. And it's easy to go down this downward spiral of thinking where you're just overwhelmed by the expectation you have for yourself or the expectation society has or your art professor has, whatever it may be. Um, it can be scary sometimes to stare at that blank canvas and think of all the possibilities of it going wrong or how difficult it is to create and how you don't even know where to start. And it might just feel better to not make anything at all, right? Let's just walk away and problem solved, right? <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I don't agree with that. Um, if art is something you love, then you deserve to be able to create it and it can be really enjoyable if you don't focus so much on this intimidating expectation or the the end product, you know, don't put all your focus on that and just focus on taking things one step at a time. And the only thing standing in the way of you creating art is just your idea of what's in the way. Nothing's really in the way other than the mess inside our heads oftentimes. Um, of course, if you're like a full-time parent and a full -time, you have a full-time job that's not art related, obviously there's things that can be in the way <laughs> timing wise. It might be a lot harder for you to create, but I'm speaking purely for the people who do have the time to make art, but don't because they're an artist block or they're afraid to make art. The only thing really standing in the way there is just the mess inside our heads that was created by either society or our upbringing or both. And if you let go of that, you might find that on the other side is a learning experience. Um, it's a fun experience. It might be a little bit frustrating at times. And maybe you end up with something that you're not 100% satisfied with because it's not this you know crazy perfect painting according to your standards but that's okay because the beauty of learning and improving your art is not by making these ideal perfect flawless paintings all the time it's in making mistakes virtually all the time and making lots of art and that's how you get better you don't have to show it to anyone either 
So if you're afraid to like put it out there, you don't have to. You can just keep it like a little secret that you have with yourself. You don't have to show your art to anyone if you don't want to. You can just create for the sake of enjoying the process and immerse yourself in that. I try not to look at making art as something that I absolutely have to do, um, which is kind of hard to do because it's my job. So like, yeah, I have to make art. But if I look at it from this angle of like, intense discipline where like I need to be at the easel like I I don't it, it's really hard to create in in that mindset so I really try to focus on the projects that are exciting to me and interesting to me and I just try to focus more on the materials and the process itself just like the simple things like the buttery texture of the paint and breaking things down to their simplest forms. I'm not creating a masterpiece. I'm not trying to create a masterpiece. I'm just smudging paint around <laughs> on a canvas for fun. And it does help take a lot of the pressure off and just to get more in that mindset of, I'm gonna paint because I want to, because it's fun and I don't care if it ends up looking bad, like who cares? <laughs> and eventually you will get better. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day and feel free to let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about on this channel. Don't be scared to make art. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!